What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips jQuery tutorial. So this is part 7 of this video series. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about the jQuery events, specifically form events. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, I have covered the mouse events and keyboard events and now it's time to discuss about the form events. So here we have blur, change, focus, submit and select event. Okay, so let's get started. So here in the previous tutorial we have just discussed about all the mouse type event and keyboard type events. Okay, so let's have the view of it. So here when I click on uh, this uh, button then I'll get the alert. Okay, so this uh, these are all types of mouse event and these are the key keyboard uh, keyboard type events. Okay, so now let's let's discuss about the uh, form type events so here we have first one the blur event okay now first of all I'll just remove each and everything so that it can be clear okay so here I'm um, just naming it let's say text one ID is text one and here we have the blur event okay and let's remove the code and I'll just access this text box with uh, ID let's say text one okay now text one dot okay we have blur event so here on dot blur we are just calling alert okay instead of alert we will just change the background color of that text box okay so dollar dot this this is just referencing this uh, current element okay so this dot CSS dot CSS in bracket in curly braces add background color in double quotes background dash color okay then put a colon and then let's say red okay and then add another properties like say color red or white with red uh, background we have white color text okay now let's run this reload okay so this is blur event okay so blur events get fired when you focus on this text box write something or don't write something okay let's say ashish and when you just click outside of this text box let's say the event will get fired okay now reload it let's see check it out okay so when you click on this text box and this click outside of this uh, text box here here you can see okay now the second type of event is the change okay so just copy that and here just write change event and we have just text text 2 and let's copy that and paste here and just write here dot change okay and this CSS background should be blue okay now reload it so we have change event we have blue uh, blur event okay so when you write something see Ashish in 
the text text box value has been changed and when you click outside of this text box I think uh, dot change it should be 2 let's reload it and ashish and click outside of this text box you will get the result okay okay so main difference between the blur event or change event is that see I have written something and clicked outside I have written something and clicked outside both working like similar like, but the different is that see when I click inside the box in the change in case of change event when I click on inside the box and then outside of the box n uh, the change event will not get fired okay but in case of blur when I click inside the box and do not write anything and just click outside of the box then it get fired okay so that is the main difference between change and blur now the third type of event uh, we will discuss the focus okay so focus event is very simple let's copy that let's make it 3 and here just copy the focus okay and dot focus background color should be green okay now let's run this okay so in the focus event when when you uh, start uh, when you uh, just move your key inside this text box let's say click okay okay sorry it should be text box 3 okay just click inside the text box here you you go you can write something with the CSS style again see when I click inside the text box the focus event will get fired okay so this is focus and this is blur event okay and this is change event see the change event will get fired if some text has been changed okay when you write something and put your cursor outside of the text box okay now the third is submit so for submit for submit uh, type of events we will just create a form here let's create a form and id equal to let's say my form okay inside that you can create just copy this to text box and here you will get the first name okay and the last name okay and here the let's give id first and then second okay and take an input of type equal to submit okay now just copy this id and here dollar hash my form dot submit submit just write function and you can just get the value of both text box okay so where first name should be equal to dollar dollar hash first dot value 
similarly let's do it for second second equal to let's copy that okay and uh, let's write the here taken diff or span okay so I'll just put the span or here dollar I'm setting the value of span dot text should be equal to the first name and plus last name so first name plus space plus sorry second the last name is second text box okay now let's run this okay so I need some difference that so let's comment this one and reload this okay so you have your first name Ashish, and you have your Tiwari and as soon as when you press enter key or you just click on the submit button the submit event get fired so I'm just pressing enter okay so submit event get fired and you will see Ashish space Tiwari okay now when you click on the submit button the same thing will happen just reload it just write something say Ashish Kumar and here we will have Tiwari and so submit so you will see the span has the value Ashish Kumar Tiwari okay so this is our submit event okay now the last one is the select event okay so here we will let's say PR and keep all this live dot KU let's put another PR so that you will get a lot of space okay so write something here and then submit okay now I'll be discussing about the PR and take this input type equal to text and here I'll just give an ID select one okay and here you will see select even okay and when I copy that and here I'll just call it as dollar again I'll access it with ID dot select now you can write some function here okay now alert see something selected okay select one got something selected okay now refresh this okay so this is my select event so I'll write something here Shish Kumar let's say TY okay and here 
when I select something then the event gets fired see I'm just selecting the Y okay and releasing mouse okay so you can see here something selected okay and again I'll just select this Kumar Tiwari so here you can see something selected pop up okay so here you can see all f five types of events so we have blur event so blur event gets fired when you put when you click inside the text box and click outside of this text box then this event get fired you don't need to write something here it will get fired automatically see I have not written anything and clicked on outside then it get fired the, in the change event when I click something and get out so, uh, when I click outside of this text box then it will not get fired when I write something and get uh, when I click outside of this text box then event get fired okay in focus event when I click inside this text box then event get fired see okay and here this is the form event when I write something here when I write here and when I click enter or when I click the submit button I'll get the result okay and in the select event when I write something here okay and when I select something here then the event get fired okay so this is the main difference between all types of form events so I hope you understood this and uh, uh, if you have any query then you can just put your comment into the comment section and don't forget to uh, share this video among your friend and uh, if you like this then give a thumbs up and in the next tutorial we will discussing about the uh, document or window types of event okay so thank you very much for watching have a great day